Oh, continue our sign for our donut shop. Uh, we finished the design of the sign, so uh, we don't need the draft in the background. So please select it and press delete from your keyboard. Okay, and then the outer part, the circle of the logo, it seems that it's not um, smooth enough. So I press delete. To delete it, press delete to delete it. I want to refine it. This time I use a circle. Okay, and then go to modify. Modify this. I introduce a new modify to you, which is at display. Uh, because you found the circle is a uh, shape provided by the software, so you can add the vertex and the display um, inside this object so you can use a display and then choose vertex again we find at two point right here the first point and the second point go to segment turn off the refine and then we are now selecting the segment I select this segment press the keyboard delete select this segment and then press keyboard delete remember to turn it off after you finish the editing, go to compound object, loaf, get it, get the circle. Okay, we finish the logo design. Uh, if you go to select by name, or you can select by name, this is, and then, or you can go to scene explorer, you can see a lot of object uh, was being, were, were being created in this scene. Uh, I do not give any name to them. Now I want to select all of them and then group it, give it a name, open sign. I'll use a group to combine all of the objects. Save the file, maybe this one, save. Okay, if you do not ha have any existing FDMS object uh, file, you can save and give it a new name. Um, now, what I want to do is to open our donut scene, donut shop scene. And then go to file. Before everything, before you uh, open the donut shop .mas file, remember to go to customize preference files. Make sure you turn on this option. And also go to file, project, set active project. Okay, before you open the scene. Now I open the scene and then go to file, import, merge. Select the open side. Select the name of the object, press OK. Use the uh, transformation tools, maybe the scale to like, scale it down. And then put it, and then put it in the front of my shop. Save the file. Okay, what I want to do is to give it some color and create a neon effect. I go to standard primitives to create a ground for my file. I guess uh, your file has already create a ground and uh, with some tree or fence or bench some decoration I use middle mouse to activate the perspectives uh will pop maximize the will pop I try to do the first render Okay, this render is created by uh, ScanEye, and I want to try a new renderer with you in this lab exercise. So I go to Render Setup, 
change the renderer to Arnold. Uh, it will take more time for your CPU to do the calculation, but the quality of the final picture will be better. And then I go to custom. Yes, because I want to do a smaller picture with less resolution so that uh, uh, I can render far much more faster. Uh, I go to material editor. Go to a category called Arnold surface. You will find one called standard surface. Drag it out. Drag a line on your object. Drag a line on your object. Or maybe you can simply select the whole object and drag it on your object. It will ask you assign to that specific object or assign to selection because I've selected the whole logo because it's a group. So I select this option, assign to selection, press OK. You can simply change the base color. Maybe I change it to what? But it's not growing. It's not growing. And just one up, uh, one parameter you need to change right here. It's called emission. And then I give a color to it, maybe I like red. Um, larger the number, uh, the effect of rowing uh, will be much more lighter. Okay, more, maybe more, pencil. Actually, there's some red bleeding out um, to show you the growing effect, but it's, it's not so good, the quality. Why? Because there's a default lighting for our scene. Everything was so bright. That's why um, you can't even see it's growing. So uh, what I want to do is go to lighting and then choose this put down menu, select Arnold. Because we are using, using the Arnold renderer, so we need to use Arnold lighting. Uh, remember, uh, which kind of lighting will affect the rendering choice you are choosing. So I select Arnold and then I go back to the top view, select Arnold light, click just one click it's okay i've already put a light here uh this line represents the direction of the light if you put the light f far away your scene will become darker and then i go to modify uh i think you can try to play with two parameter the first one is the intensity it will affect the level of the lighting uh, brighter or darken uh, through this control and other one you can change is the color of the light uh, for example I don't use color I use Kelvin Kelvin is the color temperature lower the number the light will become warmer and then I run again you see this is a warm color and also you can change the color through this uh, color panel and also you can change the intensity of the Arnold light if I increase this number the scene will become brighter or if I decrease the number the scene looks darker uh, darker the scene uh, you will find that the neon light effect will be uh, it looks better, but in this case, um, it looks too bright. So I decrease the level of emission. And also, I want the base color. Change it to white, maybe. Let's have a try.
Okay, it looks good. So uh, please play with the parameter around uh, at least one to two uh, files, uh, which is a complete donor shop with such kind of neon side effect. Uh, I want to try one, one more, one more color for our neon night. So this time I want blue. And then emission is one. I'll select the sign and choose. Oh, you can choose ungroup or you can choose open. Open that means you keep the group, but uh, you just open uh, to select the element in inside. And then I select all this wording. Okay, this time I read it again. It looks good. Okay. Finally, I saved the image to the render output. Don't shop with neon sign and then please everything uh, 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 compress everything zip the folder and then upload your your design to Moodle as the lab exercise tool